All right, we have a round four, I believe. Yeah, it is round four now. Uh, Discord League game. Uh, it's going to be Amanis PL versus Daidoji Eric. So I expect Scorpion versus Crane, unless they're playing something different, but we'll see in a moment. All right, yep, <clears throat> it is uh, Scorpion and Crane. It's gonna be Seeker of Void Crane and Keeper of Air Phoenix, seems good. Or, sorry, Scorpion. Mulligans happening. So the Scorpion deck is pretty good now with some of the, I mean it was always pretty good, but they got some good cards recently. Um, they have the guy who lets you discard three and draw three, and they have the one that dishonors to force your opponent to bow a character, those are both pretty good. Uh, we're going to see a Forfeit Kaizen for Crane here. He has a Proving Ground in the row. So he's probably going to try and tower this up. Um, Shoju with 3 Fate on the Phoenix. Or, why do I keep saying Phoenix? On the Scorpion side, um, that is a big turn one by. Um, so... <clears throat> This does mean that Scorpion is going to get to draw a lot of cards. It also means he has no fate. Uh, but another thing it means is that Crane won't have any opportunities to do a military duel this phase. Which Scorpion is happy about. Uh, oh, this was on Toshi Ranbo as well, so he got an extra fate on it. Um, which, of course is the province you're going to attack until it's broken, since it doesn't do anything while you're attacking it. And he is just going to break it here. Uh, so, Way of the Scorpion traded for Way of the Crane. Airing going to gain two honor. So, he did get value off of uh, Toshi Ranbo since he bought the Shoju off of it, so not too big of a deal. Now Crane will have to attack into face down provinces. Uh, the airing is pretty good since Scorpion is going to want to try and grind down the Crane player's honor. So that helps him out a little bit here. Uh, let's see if Scorpion is going to attack. Nope. Just gonna pass and take the favor. That seems fine. Scorpion could have sentries in hand, so taking the favor was more appealing there than attacking. So, wow, no discards on the Scorpion side. I guess he really liked all of these characters that he had. Uh, we, we're going to see him buy the Lyre. And, yeah, I mean, you got to buy the Albiratist, right? Crane, meanwhile, going to get a Callow Delegate and a Kaizen Dupe. And then Scorpion passes, so if he wants to, he can play this Whisper as well. Some extra political. Has plenty of fate, so might as well. Um, Eric is going to bid one here, so... He knows Scorpion is probably going to bid five, since he doesn't want to give Crane any honor back, because that would make this Albi Artist difficult to turn on. 
Uh, Scorpion is okay being at 3 honor though. But Crane also has a lot of cards in hand, so you can just start bidding one here and not really care since the Shoju is on the board. I think that's fine. Uh, we're going to see Political Earth. This is kind of awkward because even if you defend with both of these characters, it's still tied thanks to Favor. We see an Ornate Fan on the Whisperer, okay. I guess you put the Kawa Delegate in in case there's a court games. That's probably what that's for. Like, you're not really doing anything with that character anyway. Scorpion. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Scorpion has military dashes on all of his characters right now. So... Crane's still not going to be able to get any military duels. Hold on, I want to actually snip this. Whoops. Don't open that. Okay, um, what happened? Okay, there was a calling in favors to steal the fan, there was a let go on the fan, and then... Or an, another, another ornate fan. That all seems fine. Uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of use out of a let go in this matchup, so... You just play it whenever you see a calling in favors, pretty much. We see return the offense, so he's going to get a political duel here, since he can't do any military duels. Uh, this card is winner does not bow as a result of conflict resolution and the loser cannot be readied by card effects. Uh, that's going to let him get his stronghold and the proving ground draw. So even though the effect of the duel is not, well, it's, it's pretty decent. This Whisper is a pretty large political body, but like Scorpion can just defend probably the political. Uh, he tries to weigh the scorpion, but a voice of honor is going to cancel that to keep the voice of honor turned on. And Eric is going to win that conflict. And now he's going to attack and find Manicured Garden. So he can pretty much freely attack military, and scorpion just can't really do anything about it. Um, you probably can't play Fate Worse Than Death here if you have it, since uh, the risk of another Voice of Honor is high. But if you have like some censures or some Forged Edicts to protect it, you might be able to still. Find Katana for the break. I don't think we've seen Restricted List card from Scorpion yet, yeah. Uh, Soul Beyond Reproach on Bayushi Liar, okay. I mean, Scorpion knows that Crane can't kill him this turn. Well, 
You do kind of need the honor token. Yeah, I think you need the Soul Baron approach. Oh, we see Mark of Shame on Kaizen. That's just for one dishonor, right? So that's just to prevent this break. Interesting. Oh wow, he's going to censure a way of the crane, okay. So he really just doesn't want this to break, I guess. Oh, noble sack. Okay. Alright, that all makes a lot more sense now. So we know now that he is on Mark of Shame as the restricted list card and yeah, Crane Splash for Sylvander Approach at Noble Sack. Um, unfortunately, Crane could not stop that, it looks like. He does have an Ancient Master, though. Let's see if there's... Ooh, could you assassinate this? I don't know if you can. I guess you could. You still have Vox unused. Uh, he is just going to pass, though. So Eric will still get the ring effect there. Like, he lost a really big character to that noble sack, but... His opponent's still at two honor with a shoju on the board, so... I don't know if he's really that unhappy. Um... And he still has this big whisperer for his political attack. We see a scavenger to attack military, it looks like. And Crane can't really defend that. Gonna go Void. Void seems good. Okay, the whisperer is gonna defend. Let's see if he has a military buff. I guess you can't really attack political into Shoju and Alibi Artist, so you might as well defend this. I'm a little bit curious why Scorpion didn't take the airing in the first conflict, actually. He could have taken that off the table so that Crane couldn't attack air. City of the Open Hand gains an honor. So Scorpion is pretty difficult to dishonor out because they can, well, for one thing, they have duty. And then they also have City of the Open Hand, which can let them gain an honor every turn if they need to. So that's going to counteract the honor loss from Shoju. Which means you need to get like three airings, basically. And then if he has duty, you need to get two more. So. Okay, so. Scorpion is going to win that attack. Uh, we saw a new name played on the Whisperer, but there was a Bonsai on the Scorpion side. Unfortunate for Crane, that means that Whisperer is going to leave play with two attachments. So that Void Ring was pretty good. Uh, we have two Fate on Fire and Water. Another Alibi Artist is quite good. We see Masterpiece Painter. Basically a... What is that card? Artisan Academy on a character with good stats. And Doji Challenger, that's a classic. And the Alibi Artist does indeed get bought. No surprise there. So Scorpion can take Passing Fate here or play another character and let Crane have the Passing Fate. 
Crane is on zero fate right now, but uh, I have to imagine he's going to get a two fate ring. Yeah, so Scorpion does deny the passing fate for Crane. Keep him on zero. So you probably want to attack Fire here. Okay, so Eric is going to use his honor to draw some extra cards, uh, probably realizing that it will be too difficult to actually dishonor Scorpion. And Scorpion's still with military dashes on all the characters here. So Scorpion is drawing plenty of cards with two alibi artists and a shoju. Uh, he can just bid one for the rest of the game. Okay, so it is going to be the firing. It's going to be political with the doji challenger. So let's see. Do you want to pull in Shoju here? I'm not sure if you do. You could pull in an Alibi Artist and then still be tied. Like, going political says that he wants to pull one of these characters, right? Just not sure which one. The problem with firing is that you know your opponent is on Soul Beyond Reproach, um, Mark of Shame, so dishonoring one of your opponent's characters or honoring one of your characters is a little bit awkward. But it's a two-fate firing, so... You probably just dishonor, like, the one fate alibi artist, so that if he soul beyond approaches, it's not, like, a really big deal. Thinking about defending with Shoju, uh, I think that's fine. Like, he's not going to attack, I don't think. Mm, maybe not. Okay, yeah, no defense. That is also fine. Court games to dishonor the challenger? Sure. See if he wants to cancel this. Plays his own, his own court games. Let's see if Scorpion has a cancel. Nope. So this is like pretty frustrating now, I think, for Crane because, oh wow, Mark of Shame. That's an expensive uh, way of the Scorpion, and we see another way of the Crane. But it's frustrating for Crane because Scorpion got to reshuffle his conflict deck, and he's drawing like a ton of cards every turn. Plus he has filtered card draw with these alibi artists, so... Eventually, you're just going to fall behind on cards. I mean, he's already down four. Yeah, that's the third way of the crane as well. So, it looks like it's going to be a little bit tough here for crane. Manicured Garden. Uh, one thing that the Mark of Shame does is it means if he pulled in an alibi artist now, Scorpion would be winning on defense. Uh, we see a new name, though. So I think the new name says that he does want to pull an alibi artist here. It's 
see what Scorpion has. Like it's it's surprising that he played Oh, we see the let go on Mark of Shame. Okay, so he's going for the break actually. I was gonna say it's a little bit surprising that he played a Mark of Shame on a neutral character when the firing is being contested. Yeah, a game with no lions in it. What a world. Not even in the splashes either. And like I said, you're not going to get a whole lot of great let go targets against scorpions, so. We see a calling in favors to steal that new name. And that was the best firing target, I think, for Crane as well. Now you probably want to just like honor the masterpiece painter, maybe. I don't know. So he needs one more to break, uh, or you can pull in an alibi artist. It's going to pass, do neither of those things. I guess he doesn't care too much about pulling in an alibi artist because this is... Ooh, we see Soul Beyond Reproach and Voice of Honor to cancel it. I'm not sure how much I like doing that during this conflict because then that gives him a good firing target. You can dis just dishonor that alibi artist. I would wait until after the ring effect probably, but I don't, I don't know, maybe. There's something else happening here. We see another Soul Beyond Reproach. That one does resolve. Let's see, how many Voice of Honors is that? Two? Yeah, like Scorpion can just play cards forever here. And Crane will eventually just run out of answers. And Scorpion will keep drawing cards with the Alibi Artist. Is new Yoshi in this Crane deck? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. We do see the Doji Challenger pull. And there's a Mark of Shame to dishonor it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I like that pull because, like, Scorpion just has a ton of political. That's all his board is. And this is your only political attack. So, like, bowing one of these characters and then he still has a ton of political. Yeah, definitely. He's played, I think, I think he's played three Mark of Shame now. On two neutral characters. Uh, we see a return the offense. This is going to let him use his stronghold. But he's still not winning the conflict, so we'll need to see another let go or another attachment. No, it's neither of those things. Okay. So yeah, like, I mean, I guess you got an honor off of that pull, but yeah, I, d I don't like the Doji Challenger pull there. I think he should have just taken the win, because Scorpion passed, right? Or did he not pass? No, he didn't pass. Okay, so maybe he was just going to play the Mark of Shame anyway. I don't know. So we see big political except no shoju at the manicured garden going water. So you just defend with the ancient master and then you don't care. Seems good. Gains of fate. It is breaking, which you'd prefer if it didn't break, but I think you can probably just let this one go. 
Like, Scorpion can only get one break this turn, unless he has, like, a conflict character and a bonsai. He mainly just wanted the Ring Fate, I think. Uh, let's see if Crane is going to play anything. Yeah, so he does get the break, gets to discard Proving Ground, and Shoju is still standing for favor. Man, that's what makes Shoju, like, so nuts, is that he doesn't even have to do anything. He can just, like, stand there, and then you always get favor, and you draw a ton of cards, and your opponent loses honor. It's, like, everything you want, basically. Uh, we're seeing a Void Ring, though, at the Manicured Gardens. This could be not what Scorpion wants, because it could kill either Shoju or the Honored Alibi Artist. I think either one of them would actually be a good target for this. Because, like, Shoju at least makes you both draw cards, and you're not in a position where you care about your about losing honor, really. Not yet, at least. Let's see who he voids. Yeah, he does void the Alibi Artist. I like that, because the Alibi Artist represents more card draw for the Scorpion player, whereas Shoju is card draw for both players. And you really want to not fall behind if you can help it. Uh, Goblin Sneak, so Scorpion is going to get to Military Attack. Oh, and he finds Shameful Display. So if he has, if he does have a Bonsai, that'll be unfortunate for Eric. Nope, doesn't have it, okay. So nothing terrible happens. He does lose a Policy Debate, though. That Earth Ring is pretty painful. <clears throat> The other thing about the Alibi Artist dying here is that he no longer has an Honored character. So setting up a Noble Sack will be more difficult. Uh, we see a Tea House. <clears throat> Not really what you want in this matchup, probably. Like... <laughs> I, I don't think you tea house mark of shame, right? Uh, yeah, we have not seen duty yet this game, so... I don't know, I think Scorpion just bids one, though. I don't think you go for the duty play, not yet at least. Because you're on four honor. Maybe you do. I don't know. Like, he's already so far ahead on cards, and he has card draw on board. We'll see what happens. Uh, Brash Samurai, Young Rumor Monger, and a Liar. Crane takes the Passing Fate. Gonna see Alibi Artist get used. Yeah, that's the thing, is that I feel like it's pretty easy here for Eric to call his bluff on the duty bid. And he does bid too, because Eric just has a ton of honor, so... So, Eric will be down six cards... Uh, he gets the first conflict, though. He's going to take the One Fate Air Ring, it looks like. There are a lot of rings that you want here, I think.
Void is very good, Earth is very good, uh, but one fade on the air ring, probably going to be... No, he might be going... No, he does go air. Oh, this is Scorpion attacking. For some reason I thought Crane was first. It's going to go military. Okay, it goes military with the Goblin Sneak. Finds Pilgrimage. So, do you think he has the Bonsai? It's, it's pretty likely he has the Bonsai, right? Did Eric use Masterpiece Painter last turn? I don't think he did. He might have. I don't think I saw the top card face up. Breaking this garden is actually very good for Eric. Uh, you mean this garden that broke? Yeah, that that's true. Uh, if the third province is upholding, then it's going to be very difficult for Scorpion to actually attack into this row. He lost that farmable province. Yeah, so Brash Samurai defends that. I like the Brash Samurai defending because then you just don't have to worry about him having the... Um, you can honor first, which is one thing. Didn't Bonsai the Shameful? Yeah, but he drew like five cards since then, right? Okay, political with the challenger at Manicured Garden, contesting Void. Void, again, is very good because you can kill this other alibi artist and stop Scorpion from drawing a million cards every turn. There's a Court Games to Dishonor. I'm kind of wondering why he didn't go military here, actually. Unless he wants to pull in, like, the liar, maybe? Like, Void is very good for Scorpion as well, so maybe you just pull in the liar and take Void off the table. Seems fine. See if he has his own court games or something. How many has he played? Uh, court games, just one, I think. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. So he did get to pull in Shoju, but we see a Castigated, which is just going to instantly kill the challenger. That's unfortunate. Uh, but Scorpion wins the conflict, so it does remove that Void Ring. Man, and Shoji's Imperial. I don't know. I know Shen thinks this card is, like, not as good as people think, but it just seems so insane. I don't know. Okay, so there's the Masterpiece Painter. It's going to reveal a new name. And he will play it. So if Scorpion attacks here, well, like we said, it's going to be difficult for him to attack. I guess he could attack... Uh, he doesn't actually have a huge amount of political now that this Shoju is bowed. It's only seven to five. So I think he'll just pass this conflict, honestly. I 
Maybe not. Uh, we see him selecting the Earth Ring. Like, I guess, at the very least, uh, this liar is not going to be doing anything this round since it has zero glory, and all the political conflicts are done. So you can at least use him to remove a ring from the table by attacking Pilgrimage at basically no cost. And while you're at it, you can throw in the Alibi Artist to threaten the break. Does look like that's what he's thinking about. Maybe just the liar. It definitely seems like uh, Scorpion has been wanting to keep the favor this whole game. And claiming a ring does help you keep favor. As well as uh, leaving a one glory character standing. So I think that is what he's going for here. Eric just not going to defend though. Oh, and he plays a political rival on defense. I was thinking at the start of the turn when he passed with seven fate, or six fate, I think. Was it seven? I don't know. I think it was seven, and then passing fate got him to eight. I was thinking he probably has, like, a political rival in hand. That's usually what that signifies. So this is just going to stop any shenanigans here, probably. The only thing is, I don't know how necessary it actually was. Because, best case for Crane here, I think you just tie favor. Unless you have an Ancient Master, I guess. Oh, he plays a policy debate, so that's what he's doing. Scorpion bids two. Hmm. Bidding two seems a little bit strange. So we see a lot of cards here. There's a voice of the honor, a voice of honor which is turned off. Way of the scorpion, soul beyond reproach, scavenger, Miyako. Return the offense. I can swim. Two is take Iquin Swim or I kill Rival. Yeah, that's what it seems like his plan is. Two backhanded, assassinate. He does have the duty. I mean, there are no cancels in the Scorpion Hand, right? So if Crane does have... Well, no, because the Rumor Monger could... Mm, he only has one way of the scorpion, though, and this box is going to honor him. Yeah, I don't know. This is tough. Like, if you're not worried about the I Can Swim, then what card do you take? Uh-oh. Yeah, Voice of Honor is there, but he can't play it. Hopefully the game didn't just crash. That's not good. Yeah. Tragic.
Is this game still going? Maybe that's a new game. Oh, yep, it's gone. Okay. So are we, oh, are they going again? <laughs> All right, it looks like we're going to start again. Wonder if I should ping League Watcher again. I was thinking about restarting the stream so it would be separated for the video, but I think it's fine. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes this time. Uh, oh, very different opening for Scorpion here. We see Attendant to the Emperor, which is the vanilla 1-5. Yeah, that's true. Knowing the Scorpion deck is going to be a good uh, advantage for Eric going into this. What does this do? Acclaimed Geisha House. Action during a conflict, dishonor a friendly participating character and choose an unclaimed ring. Switch the contested ring with the chosen ring. Hmm. I mean, that seems like an expensive cost for the effect, but we see Sinister Soshi as well, so he'll have to worry about Castigated probably. Uh, but you just don't go into a political conflict and you're fine, right? Yeah, that is a Clan Wars card. But we see a similar opening for Crane getting a Kaizen here and a Proving Ground. Ooh, Scorpion is going to hit Shameful Display here, though. That's not what he wanted to see. Um... So yeah, you gotta defend this. You probably use that as the first action, right? He's thinking about it. Might have something else in his hand he wants to do first. Or you could even duel here first. Yeah, the Mark of Shame is something to worry about, for sure. Yeah, so he is going to do the duel first. Both players be one. He gets to draw off Proving Ground. Uh, and he does use the Stronghold. 
We see the sinister Soshi. That's kind of scary. All it means right now is that they're tied, though. Yeah, this is pretty awkward for Crane. It's going to play a new name. Makes sense. You see Miyako, okay. So you don't have to worry about Castigated now, since there are no Imperial characters. Um, the Miyako on the Truth Seeker is a cool play, since he draws both players two cards when he dies. That would be cool also with um, the new character that's not out yet, the Monk, who... When he dies, you get to let go something. Play Miyako over that. It's a let go plus a stand. Okay, we do see the Mark of Shame. There's a Court Games to Honor. So he played the Miyako uh, to get out of the conflict so that he could mark of shame and then Crane wouldn't be able to just shameful. Which is kind of annoying for Crane now because this Miyako can attack this shameful on military now and if he doesn't have like an ancient master then can't really do much about that. Uh, way of the Scorpion to dishonor again, way of the Crane to honor. And a pass. Crane going to play an ornate fan. So he can grab that ring. Uh, ensuring that Scorpion can't go Earth again is pretty good because it means that Scorpion can't go Earth again. Which is something you don't want him to do. So he's going to go Fire instead. Oh, and he does get the break there. That is unfortunate for Crane. Uh, he's going to Honor Miyako. That's a little bit scary as well. That uh, I think that says to me that he wants to set up a Noble Sack for next turn. He has a Zero Fate Honored character now. So uh, Crane can't afford to let this Kaizen get Dishonored here. We see another Adorned Geisha House. He kept the Attendant to the Emperor. Um... And there's a Master Whisperer. He is going to buy that here with two fate. Crane got a Kaizen dupe, and he has a Challenger and a Brash Samurai. Going to play the Challenger. So Crane has the first conflict this time. You can go, like, military air and pull in. You could go political air and pull in the Miyako, maybe. Ah, man, being in any political conflict is going to be scary for Crane, as long as there's an Imperial character on the board. I don't know, we'll see what he does.
So Doji Challenger attacks Toshi Ranbo with the, he does go air, and it is military, so yeah, I think we'll see the attendant to the Emperor get pulled. What is Scorpion going to do? You probably want to noble sack the Kaizen if you have your choice here. But I guess you would take it on the Challenger also. Uh, we do see Way of the Scorpion there. So, I mean, if Crane doesn't have a way to stop this, I think it is just going to happen. Um, in which case, you just pull in the attendant and say goodbye to your challenger. But, I don't know, buying the challenger with two fate, if it's just going to get noble sacked, I guess what this does do is it clears Scorpion's board. Like, he just has the Sinister Soshi then. Hmm, we see a pass, so no Noble Sack. Maybe he is trying to save that for the Kaizen. Or he's just going to save it until the Miyako has already done a conflict. Could be that as well, like... Giving Crane an airing is not the worst thing in the world. It does let you use your stronghold. So yeah, I think that's fine. And he's going military water. That seems very good. Uh, you can stand up the attendant, and then once your Miyako has done her thing, you can noble sack her. He does find pilgrimage, though, so he will have to break this if he wants that watering. We see a Kakita Blade. So that's a little bit scary for Scorpion. We could see some policy debates now, uh, which will let Eric honor his character and also gain honor. Sinister Soshi gives it minus two, minus two, two, Three, four, five, six. So it's still six to three on a political duel. Wait, is it? No, I think I miscounted as four. Four to three, yeah. So probably can't do that. Maybe you could. If it's the one that lets the character keep standing, I don't think it's too bad to do it. But like a policy debate seems risky. Unless you bid to win. Okay, he's going to Kaizen duel first. Is he down military? He is, okay. So that's going to send him home. Uh, Miyako is not breaking yet, though. Oh, and we see a mark of shame. Yeah, so Eric was probably really hoping that he didn't have another one of those. Maybe he saved away the crane. He's 
Still has a window. At least the watering didn't resolve. But the noble sack on Kaizen here is huge. And there's nothing he can do about it if he passes. He needs to have Way the Crane right now. Yep, nope, doesn't have it. So yeah, that's going to be pretty big for Scorpion. Um, the upside for Eric is that he's still up 6 fate and 3 cards. So it's not like the end of the world. And they're going to tie favor again, so Scorpion doesn't get favor, which is always good. Oh, there's Shoju. And we see a Season of War. Ah, uh, he's not first player, though. If he were first player, he could season a war to get rid of these shojus. Not sure if he would, but... Yeah, so the shoju comes out. Kala Delegate. Scorpion passes. So you can't really use Season of War now, or you just give Scorpion an extra passing fate. So I hope he has a political rival in hand, so he has something to do with all that fate. Uh, wow, Eric bids one, okay. Not taking any chances, I guess. Now that Shoju is in play, he can kind of just get a bunch of honor and keep drawing cards. So it seems fine. That's what he did last game as well. Uh, Scorpion is kind of happy about that though because it means his stronghold is just always turned on. Okay, so it's going to be Political Void. Oh, it was a two-fate bordering. Okay, that makes sense then. Brash Samurai goes ahead and defends. You're not going to spend a Mark of Shame on a Brash Samurai, right? It would have to be the third one, so... Compelling Testimony. Just a straight up minus four political. Um, are we going to see the Castigated here? It's a one fake character and it is honored, so I think Castigated is fine, although Eric will probably not be too unhappy with Scorpion spending two cards and... Is Castigated a fate? I can't remember. At least one fate to get rid of this Brash Samurai. The other thing about Castigated is that, oh, he Voice of Honor is the Compelling Testimony, okay. So, no Castigated. Is it free? Yeah, I feel like it costs zero, but I can't remember for sure. 
Soul Beyond Reproach. Not even for the break. Interesting. I guess Eric has favorable grounds, though, so he could just leave if Castigated would kill him. The annoying thing about Castigated, really, is that it's you can't cancel it. It's one of those attachments that's really an event. But it's an attachment. Another compelling testimony. Okay. What was the Soul Beyond Approach for? Just to turn off Voice of Honor? That doesn't seem great after he's already played one Voice of Honor. Like, you should do that first if you're going to do it. But... Better late than never, question mark. So, Rash Samurai is zero political. So, you can just move him home. Like, if you don't have anything else to do here, you just favorable ground home, right? Yeah, there it is. I mean, he didn't have anything to play this turn in Dynasty, so I don't think it's 100% certain that he has the rival, but it's pretty likely, right? Like, what are you going to do, put fate on a Callow Delegate? Court games to Dishonor and Tattooed Wanderer to prevent the break, okay. So preventing the break would be quite good here. And the favorable ground means that he basically wasted that compelling testimony. Could have seasoned. Yeah, I mean, he could have. The season was kind of awkward this round, though, because Scorpion was first player. And he he just played Shoju as his first action, so if you're using Season of War, you don't get to buy these two. I guess it's still fine, though. Soul Beyond Approach, answered by a fan. Man, a lot of cards being thrown into this conflict. Scorpion is out of fate. And I feel like with this Scorpion deck, a lot of the conflict cards do cost fate. You have to go 10 cards deep in the discard pile to find one that doesn't. So having no fate means that Eric is going to feel pretty safe now, I think. Looking at Brash Samurai attacking Toshi Ranbo. Do you go fire or earth? Both seem good. It's going to go earth. Yeah, earth is probably better. Like, this game is going to very quickly turn into both players bidding one forever while Shoju draws both players' cards, so if Scorpion starts seeing Alibi Artists, he's just going to start building up that hand advantage again. Uh, Crane is going to get the break on Toshi Ranbo, which means he'll have to attack a face down province in the future. He hits a sentry at random, that's good, since Scorpion is about to have favor. And Challenger attacks Political. Let's see what she finds. Manicured, okay. Same as last time. Uh, this is going to give Scorpion a fate. Wow, he defends with Shoju, okay. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Like, you just take the ring and then you still get favor. Oh, wait, no, you tie favor. Hmm, okay.
Remember is to use City of the Open Hand before the turn ends. And let's see what we have. Hmm. So Doji Whisperer is the only courtier here, unless he has a rival in hand, which I hope he does, because he has a lot of fate. Um, Rumor Monger gets played. Whisperer. Yeah, so two fate on the Whisperer, I think, means he probably is going to disguise onto that. Scorpion taking the passing fate is kind of awkward for Crane, because you don't really have anything else to do here, but I guess you're fine with him not buying any more characters, or using that shoju dupe even. Eric bids two, doesn't want the duty to happen. So Crane is going to be up one card, which is nice. Uh, a big difference between this game and last game is that this time Scorpion is not seeing any of those alibi artists, which is making it a bit difficult for him to get ahead on cards. Like, Shoju draws you cards, but it doesn't actually give you card advantage because it gives both players the same number of cards. So you really want to see those alibi artists. We see a Soul Beyond Reproach to double honor here. Seems good. At least Crane won't have to worry about the Young Rumor Monger ability. Uh, Doji Challenger going Military Air, and the Dazzling Duelist as well. This guy is good because um, his duel, the effect of his duel is not really relevant most of the time, so he can just safely duel whoever he wants uh, to get the Stronghold ability, and then he's a 4-4. Four, four. Well, not whoever he wants. He can't duel like Shoju. But I think what we'll see is the challenger pull in the attendant, and then he'll duel the attendant. Then I'll have 7 to 3. And even though he loses that duel... Oh, never mind. We're just going to see a double defense, maybe. So this would just say, like, I'm just not going to let you challenger me. Yeah, that's what we see. Crane will have to watch out for a Noble Sack, but there aren't really any good characters to hit with a Noble Sack here. Well, there aren't any great characters. I think the two Fate ones are always going to be good. Uh, we see what happened. Oh, he plays in a, a return the offense. Interesting. So the attendant not going to bow now. That does give him the stronghold without having to use his ability. Which means he'll still be able to claim the ring. but that's not really a big deal. Actually, this character was 7 political. Why didn't he duel the challenger instead?
Like, your opponent isn't going to bid to win that, right? He would basically be killing himself if he did. And then he has to use the duelist duel to use the stronghold, and then he can't claim ring effects. Or he can't claim rings. I don't know. That's probably not going to be something that matters, but... Uh, we see double find katana on the duelist and a bonsai on the attendant. So all that adds up to 10 to 11 with Crane winning. Uh, Crane is going to play a bonsai, but that gets voice of honored. Okay, so he doesn't want him to break this. Or he has another card and he's going to win on defense. His last action was manicured. See what he does. Crane still has a pretty big board after this. Um, Scorpion will still have a lot of political, but not a whole lot of military. Way the Crane on Doji Challenger. Okay. Not quite enough. Feels like a weird way the Crane. I mean, he must have another card, and he just really wants to break. The only thing that makes sense, I think. Uh, or a policy debate. Okay. It's going to be 5 to 3. But you can just bid 1, right? Because this is an airing into 3 honor. Yeah. Let's see what he has. 3 assassinates, which are all dead. 2 backhanded which are pretty dead. So that's like five dead cards, basically. Uh, two Castigated, Calling, Court Games, Court Games, Noble Sack, and Scavenger. So he does have Noble Sack. Currently has no ways to dishonor other than the Court Games, though. So you're probably not too worried about that Noble Sack, unless he gets a Fire Ring, I guess. It's the only way, really. Chooses court games to get discarded, so he does still have another one of those, but getting rid of those dishonor effects is definitely really nice. Two Way of the Cranes, two Court Games. Okay, we do see another policy debate. I was wondering if he had another one. Uh, so he's probably just going to discard the other Court Games here. Yep. Get rid of both of those. Now there are no ways for Scorpion to dishonor a Crane character other than the firing. Which is very good. That means Noble Sack is dead. Unless you get the firing. So that's like six dead cards. And the castigateds aren't really doing anything here either because he doesn't have any way to reduce the skill on these characters. So basically, only calling in favors and the scavenger are doing anything here. Uh, we see Ancient Master with two fate. So we could see him play the calling in favors now. Crane doesn't have a cancel online. 
Nope, just gonna let that break, okay. So I think Crane is feeling pretty good right now, for this turn at least. Uh, he knows what's in the Scorpion hand, so he should be able to play around it. Um, and Scorpion is going to pass his first conflict, okay. Still has one left. So Crane does have to watch out for that. The other thing is, like, can Crane even go political here? Against 18 political? <laughs> That's kind of nuts. Okay, he's going to maybe get the Water Ring fate. Yeah, Water Ring seems good because you... Threaten to bow the attendant and you get the fate. Although this shoju is still like massive if he wants to just smash a province. Yeah, he can covert rival, but he did not play one, so now he can't. I wonder if he just doesn't have a rival in his hand. He could be saving it for defense here. Looks like he's... Okay, how much would this be? Three. It would be nine. So now just defending with the attendant doesn't win. Uh, this is effective deception. Defending with both. We know that he has slovenly scavenger in hand. Crane should be able to defend that though. Because uh, he has the Kageyu to ready. That would be two to one, right? So yeah, he should be fine. Okay, yeah, so he's leaving the shoju at home. Oh, no, he is defending with both, okay. Yeah, so you just passed now. Um, I think you just... No, he's... He's passing. Hmm. I guess you don't care about getting favor. I was going to say you could Kage you anyway for the favor, but I guess he doesn't care about it. Uh, he can leave the one on pilgrimage for next turn. And he will do so. And there are the alibi artists. And unfortunately, you can't stop him from buying those. So he is going to buy them. Uh, Crane seeing some more small characters. Crane really hasn't seen any big characters this game. The biggest characters he's seen are like Kaizen and the Challenger and Kageyu, I guess. Uh, there's a Vice Proprietor as well, which is a good character. So, oh, just going to take the Passing Fate though. So if there is a turn where Scorpion starts to catch up, this would be it with two Alibi Artists on the board now. It's going to start to build up that hand advantage. This is like such an insane card. Like it's literally, it's literally Shrewd Yasuki except better and it only costs one. And Shrewd Yasuki is already like a really good card. It's pretty crazy. So Scorpion up first, uh, there's a Void Ring to kill the Dazzling Duelist, I guess. 
He's also at two honor. I mean, being at two honor is not really much of an issue, so you probably don't pass up a one fate ring to go air here. Or do you? Okay, maybe he does. Looks like he's doing political air with Shoju and an alibi artist, which is like 13 force. Still hasn't locked it in yet. But yeah, clearing Kagiyu off of the province here would be good. Yeah, so it is uh, the attack on pilgrimage. So Crane needs to defend this now. Scorpion in danger of dying. Yeah, I mean, like, he can gain one honor with his stronghold, so I don't think he's in a huge amount of danger. I guess if you don't go air and then Crane attacks air, that could be a problem. Oh, stronghold break. Yeah, I guess. Uh, with this big defense, though, I think he's fine now. Yeah, the rival... Like, this was his big military character, and it's now defending political, so... Unless he has the duel to keep him standing. Uh, we see a policy debate, though, going to hit a mark of shame. What else does he have here? Still those five dead cards. Two calling in favors now. Two castigated court games. Two goblins. Mark of Shame, Noble Sack, yeah, so you definitely hit the Mark of Shame there. Uh, court Games to Honor the Alibi Artist, okay, interesting. What else does he have? He doesn't have any extra political, does he? Yeah, so he's not going to be able to break this, and we do see... Okay, so that's why he honored this character, because of the return the offense. Uh, Eric is still going to be plus one in this duel, though, and his opponent can't really bid more than one, so... Dazzling Duelist is going to stay standing. So he can attack military now, and then he will still have that uh, potential of breaking Stronghold with the rival. So yeah, one force off there for Scorpion. Pilgrimage cancels the ring effect and doesn't break. He at least removes the air ring from the table, but he has to answer this Dazzling Duelist now. Which... I mean, we know his hand, like, can he even do anything? All he has is, like, Goblin Sneaks, Scavenger, and a bunch of dead cards. So, yeah, I don't know if he can. He can steal these Katanas, at least. Like, that's something, right? Crane has to be able to break uh, through... Two calling in favors. And he's only winning by five right now, so we'll see. Voice of Honor very much not turned on. For Crane, that is. There's... Calling in favors number one. 
Oh, he moved the dishonor. So what does Crane have? He has a bonsai. Okay, that's going to get... Is that going to get canceled? Okay, yeah, it is going to get canceled. He could have been bluffing there, saying, like, I might have something better. So if you cancel this, then I'm fine. We'll have to see if he does actually have something better. Or maybe he just wanted to bait out the effective deception trigger there, and then he's going to break it on political. But if that's the case, then I don't know that he needed to bait it out here. Right? If you can kill Scorpion while you know that his hand is mostly dead cards before he has a chance to draw like five more next turn, even though he only bids one, then that's obviously preferable. Scorpion passes. So let's see what else Crane has. Okay, Dazzling Duelist going to duel. That gets him a Proving Ground draw, right? Or does it? Did he already get two Proving Grounds this turn? Oh, Storied Defeat? Yeah, it could be that. Proving Ground... Oh, I think he did, right? Yeah, he did already get two. Yeah, there is the story defeat. That's pretty good. And yeah, you probably just dishonor him, right? So he is breaking now, and the other Kalyan favors won't do it. It'll have to be... Let's see, he has five fate. So he can call in favors and then goblin sneak, and it won't be breaking. Or reverse order so you can put the katana on the goblin sneak voice of honor is still not turned on for crane yeah we do see the goblin sneak I mean crane has 11 cards though and we know that scorpion is basically out of cards after he plays like he has he has a calling in favors and then he has a goblin sneak and then he's out of cards. Surely Crane has something else. He has a let go, okay. Not quite enough. Needs a new name, probably. New name isn't enough either, though, because he plays the other sneak. Oh, he has another katana. Very nice. That was the third katana. Yeah, so that will do it. Scorpion now just has to hope that his opponent somehow can't break his stronghold on political. What is the Scorpion Stronghold? Could be Fire, Water, or Void. Do they play that one that discards a Dishonored character, or what? Oh, Earthring hits an Assassinate. That's unfortunate. Although, it had a pretty high chance of hitting a dead card there. Like, <laughs> three Assassinates in hand out of ten. So, 30% chance to hit one of those. Um, plays the scavenger. So he's playing this so that he can attack a ring here. Probably fire. That also gives him the fate back. Oh, okay, water makes sense. Stand shoju. But standing shoju doesn't actually help if he has the rival. And with eight cards left in his deck, like, he has to have a rival, right? That would be so unlucky if he didn't. 
Uh, Dazzling Duelist just going to defend this to be safe. And since he went the ring with no fate on it, that means his hand is completely dead now. So Eric just needs to break the stronghold. There's the Kageyu. Yeah, there's nothing left in his hand that he can play. <laughs> Does he have a rival? There's a rival. So that should be game, right? Like, what could the stronghold be here that that isn't game? I guess Ancestral Lands, maybe? If he doesn't have any extra buffs. It is Midnight Revels. Yeah, that's not going to do it. So I believe that is going to be the game. <laughs> okay, uh, he backhanded himself to draw a card. That is actually like the only thing he can do here, but I don't think it's going to save him. Yeah, and we see the pass. So Eric is going to win the game. Good game. Well played by both players. Yeah, that was a long one since we had the crash. Hour and a half. But yeah, congratulations to Eric. Um, I haven't actually been paying attention. I assume these players are both 3-0, or at least like 2-1, and one, since they're both very good. So Eric potentially going 4-0, but I'll have to check that later. Are they 2-1? Okay, so Eric is 3-1 then. But yeah, that's it for this game, so thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you guys next time.